Yo, what's good, y'all? Today I'm gonna be showing y'all how to install a brand new bathroom faucet, baby. So as you can see, this janky old faucet needs to be replaced as soon as possible. It used to be gold. Now the gold has came off. There's corrosion. There's rust. Oh, I wish you guys could feel it. It feels disgusting. Look at this. Look how old this thing is. It's time for this to go. So there's a few things we're gonna need for this installation. We're gonna need an adjustable wrench, which you have here. You can either use you can either use adjustable wrench or you can use tongue and groove pliers. I personally use use these the most. Tongue and groove pliers are kind of like the go-to plumbing tool. The only downfall is that they have these little teeth here, these little grooves. So a lot of times when you're installing a faucet, you want to use adjustable wrench because it doesn't damage the nuts and bolts that you're tightening. So yeah, you may or may not need to use a screwdriver. It's really based on your situation in your sink. Um, I would say just keep a screwdriver on hand just because I'm also going to be changing out this drain here, which is the tailpiece and the pop-up. So once I change this out, I'm going to have to use a screwdriver to hold things in place. Or I could use my second groove pliers, but I usually like to use a screwdriver because it slides in the groove pretty easily. In addition to these tools, I got the character faucet installation kit. They give you everything you need. You get a basin wrench, rags, plumber's tape, plumber's putty. Uh, what else you get? A drip pan. Like you get all these wet wipes, rags. Like you get everything you need. They even have videos on teaching you how to do these things. But we're going to follow my video today. They even have DIY support. So if you need help while you're doing this installation or any kind of installation, they do offer tech support. So you can text them and let them know, hey, I'm having trouble with this. Or can you tell me if I did this right? And they'll let you know. So now that we got everything we need, let's get this thing started. Here's our new faucet. It's looking nice and clean. We got the gold brush. Brush gold is looking real pristine. It's not that shiny, kind of tacky looking gold. But this one is real nice. I'm feeling this. What y'all think? Let me know in the comment section below. Even the tailpiece is gold, which is pretty fire. Usually it'll be like a silver and then like this top part will be gold. But they did the whole part gold. And I, I appreciate that. A little, a little touch. Add a little touch of luxury. You feel me? They also gave us hot and cold supply hoses, so it's indicated with red, indicated with blue. So you know, all right, this is for the cold side, this is for the hot side. No confusion there. All right, so first things first, you want to make sure that you're emptying the space underneath your sink. You don't want anything under here because you're probably going to have to put your whole body in here and you're not going to be able to fit if there's a bunch of junk in here. So just empty that out. And clean up of any air that you need to. If it's leaking, I would say just dry it off. As you can see here, the sink was leaking so badly that the base cabinet is really destroyed. And we're gonna have to like either replace this or do something about it. But this is not a priority right now. The priority right now is to stop the leak from happening. But first, we gotta shut off the water. So after we've turned off the water, we're gonna grab our adjustable wrench. We're gonna come over here onto the supply hose and you're gonna loosen this bad boy up. You, as you can see, mine is a hard pipe and it's pretty old. So there's a possibility that I might need to get some WD-40 in order to loosen that bad boy up, but we'll see. So all you really have to do is loosen this bad boy up and then you can loosen the rest by hand. You see how I'm struggling, right? Here's the reason why I like to use these. For one, we're changing these out. So crank it. Well, look, I can just grab this bad boy. You just adjust it right. Adjust it in the right space. Right little groove. Grab it. You can get such a better, such a better turn. You get more leverage on this. And it's easier to maneuver and handle compared to the adjustable wrench. I just have to put on some gloves because I know it's gonna get dirty. All right, so let's go ahead and grab our basin wrench. You may or may not need this, to be honest. You may or may not need this. This is based on the space that you have. If you have a lot of plumbing in here and you can't reach back there, then a basin wrench is perfect. All right, so y'all see how I can't really get in here to turn it. That's where the basin wrench comes in. Here. Mm 
need to make this. Yeah, see that? So the basin wrench is helpful because when you're actually removing the sink and installing the sink, it can be very difficult working in this narrow space. And it, there's no room for you to turn your wrench or your pliers. So use a basin wrench, which allows you to grip the thing you're trying to loosen or tighten. This is a realistic video because a lot of videos you see on YouTube, they're posting and they're having such an easy time, you know? Just, all right, let's, all right, you unscrew this and, and then do this and then everything is good, you know? But like, that's not realistic because sometimes things are old. Sometimes things are rusted. You can't always work like that, you know? Like, it's not realistic. So I'm trying to be as real as possible. Sometimes you struggle. You feel me? So we got those off. Now it's time to take off these supply hoses. I should be able to just pull them off because they're already loosened. Let me just knock them a little bit. Yeah. Just gotta be loosened a little bit. Make sure these valves are tight. Watch the magic happen. Thank God character gave us this drip pan. Disgusting. This is the old one. This is the new one. Look at these. Such a difference. This one is gorgeous. All right, so now that we took that old one out, these wet wipes are going to come in handy. First, I'm going to scrape this little bit off. Guys, I really, I'm really loving this kit. It's really coming in handy. It's really coming in handy. It's highly handy, baby. All right, so now we got a brand new faucet. We're gonna take off these nuts here. All right, and you see this little gasket right here. This is gonna help seal the faucet to the counter, but I'm gonna take a, a, a precaution before I do that. Usually I wouldn't use this one, this all purpose one. I would use like a one specific for bathrooms, but this will do the trick. So now that I put that caulk there, just for safety, just for just for peace of mind, now we can go ahead and put this down there. The caulk is probably gonna ooze out a little bit, but that's okay. You can just wipe that away easy. But yeah, it just gives me some peace of mind. Like, oh yeah, this is this is gonna be sealed. It's not gonna leak all the way through, you know. All right, so now we're gonna take our supply hoses and we're gonna go on back underneath the sink and we're gonna install these. So I always like to turn it the opposite direction as if I'm loosening it so that the thread will connect. You'll kind of hear it. Either hear it or you'll feel it. So yeah, you turn it the other way. You heard that? There's a little click. Go ahead and tighten it with your wrench. Do the other one too. All right, so now we got the supply hoses attached. We're gonna go ahead and tighten this faucet. Again, I like to back turn it a little bit. Should be good. And I'm not gonna tighten it all the way. I'm gonna tighten it just enough 
so that I can go up top and make sure it's straight, make sure it looks good, make sure there's no exposure to these holes here so that no water seeps through. So tighten it just enough that it's gonna stay in place, but you're still kind of able to move it around. You get me? Now you see this, this little gasket here? This is a rubber washer. It's gonna prevent any water from seeping through here. So you don't have to worry about putting any Teflon tape on here or plumber's tape. You could just attach this directly. So we're gonna take that. We know this is cold. The cold is always on the right side. Again, like I said, I like to back turn it just to make sure it's on the thread. If it's not on a thread, sometimes that can cause it to leak, you know? All right. So this also doesn't have to be that tight right now. Do the same thing with the hot. We're gonna make sure that this faucet is straight and then we're gonna use a basin wrench to tighten these bad boys up. All right, child, so we got the faucet. We wanna make sure it's nice and straight. And you kinda want it to be centered, you know? You want it to be centered with, with the drain, but you don't want to move it so much that the holes are the holes in the sink are exposed. Let me go ahead and remove this caulk. Yo, these wipes, man. I'm still using the same one. This is looking good. I'll take a look at that. This is how I was looking now. This is an awesome sink because you can turn it this way, turn it that way. You want to kind of rinse off this area. Like this sink is like one of those clamshell, like 80s sinks. So it might be helpful to think, think, you know, but all right, let's finish this. All right, so let's grab the basin wrench. get any tighter than that all right y'all so here's how the sink is looking it's looking beautiful right so now that we've installed this sink already we're gonna go ahead and remove this old drain and then install this nice new gold one this one has a button pop up so you don't have to have that like little pull rod in the back we're just gonna install this it's pretty simple just screw it in and you should be good to go so in order to remove this bad boy, we're going to have to remove this screw. We're going to have to loosen up this slip nut right here. I'm going to use my tongue and groove pliers. There's a possibility that it could damage this plastic, but that's what we're going to need to do in order to get this off. Make sure you bring your drip pan down over here so that any water that flows down here will be caught in this tray. We're going to unscrew this bad boy because this is what's holding the little Part that's inside the drain this is what's holding that in place i'm gonna grab it on right here i don't want this to fall in the drain let's take the rod that was in here see if you can get this out there we go see that that's what that looks like take this out that, that's nasty. As you can probably imagine, that's why this thing was stopped up. So look at this. Look at this. That's disgusting. So as you can see, when you're twisting, when I'm twisting this, it's gonna just keep turning. It's gonna keep spinning. So, you see, it's just spinning. That's because we're gonna have to hold this pipe into place. And the way we do that, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this here, all right? Put it in the pop-up hole. Mm-hmm. You see? Alright, so now I could probably loosen it up. Alrighty. We're gonna take our flathead screwdriver. And we're just gonna try to pry that out.
Alright, so here's what I do, y'all. I just bang that shit out. Honestly. It was kind of getting on my nerves. Look at this. Look how bad this was. Let's take off this slip nut. Let's move this. All right, so character gave us some plumber's putty. This tailpiece doesn't really require it because it has a rubber gasket here. But I'm just gonna put a thin slither around there just in case, just for safety. You know, you can never be too safe. All right, comes in this little bag. There we go. Rub it in your hand. All right. Gasket right here. Honestly, it's not needed, but again, can never be too safe. I want this to last as long as possible. This is how it should look once you put in the plumber's putty. All right, so now we're gonna take this part off. So both these pieces, all three of these pieces have to go underneath the sink. So usually sinks will have like an emergency overflow little hole right here, but this is a pretty old sink. This is a pretty old sink. So they didn't install one here. So usually we have to worry about these little holes here and all that stuff and lining it up and if it's in your case, you would want to line this one up with your hole that's going to be right here. I don't have that, but you'll just line it up. Make sure this is like this. Like that. All right. But thankfully, I don't have to worry about that. We're going to put that in there. All right. We're going to take that gasket that you had. The flat part is facing down. Take that washer that they gave us. We're gonna take this, put that underneath, put that up there, and then you're gonna take the slip nut that's attached to this piece right here. Gonna put that right on there. All right, so you should have four things attached to here. You should have the slip nut, or well, you might have five because this slip nut has a built-in like seal but the slip nut you should have like a little gasket here you should have the tightening nut you should have this rubber gasket and you should have this little washer which i can't grab but this little washer here right, i'm just pushing this up as far as i can i'm gonna go ahead and put some plumber's tape around here This isn't the best quality tape, but it's gonna do the job. Let's put that on there. You wanna get this part as tight as possible because obviously water is coming into the drain. You don't want the water to seep through the like little cracks, you know? You want it to be nice and secure and sealed. Let's see, that's pretty good. We're gonna have to do a water test to see if there's any leaks. If there's any leaks, then we gotta tighten it more or reposition it. Tighten this part. So now you see, we got the plumber's putty there. So I'm gonna grab our wet wipes. to do take my knife just cut that I'm gonna use the corner of it and we'll get it out bam so I use my knife
All right, y'all. I will say we're pretty much done with this. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. One thing I like about this faucet is there's no logo here. There is no logo shown. And I love that. There were so many faucets that they had these ugly like white logos. I'm like, why would I want that? That looks stupid. It's not even like a brand that you'll know. All right, we good. All right, y'all, this is looking pretty good. Pretty good, baby. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this water on. See if there's any leaks. All right, I'm gonna have to clean up, but first we're gonna do this. I'm scared, y'all. If you do have leaks, it's okay. It's literally okay. Like, it's, it happens to everybody. It's not like you're bad at what you're doing. You're horrible, you know? Like, sometimes there's leaks. Sometimes you maybe forgot to tighten something enough, you know? You just gotta go back and tighten it. It's part of the job. So don't, don't stress out about it. Give yourself some grace. I didn't turn this on. Still hot and the cold. Should be no leaks here. Should be no leaks anywhere. No, no leaks here. Let's check under here. Make sure there's no leaks. Looks over here. It's looking good, y'all. It's looking good. Hey, that's a wrap, y'all. I hope y'all found this video helpful. I put a lot of time and energy into this video. If it was helpful for you, please like, please comment on the video. Let me know that it was helpful for you. If you feel like I did something wrong, if I need to do something better, please let me know because all of that information is helpful to me. It helps me grow. It helps me learn how to navigate this YouTube channel from here on after. You feel me? But subscribe to the channel. I thank you so much for watching this long. It's a long video. This is my first long video. So if you stayed this long, <laughs> thank you so much. That's crazy. Um, yeah, I love you. Peace.